I'm a wreck. <laughs> you know, when my friend A.C. Lyles told me of the plans that the AFI had for this evening, it gave me pause. And I said to him, you know, this is not the kind of thing I do every day. Uh, what will they expect of me? And he said, oh, well, all you have to do is, uh, um, uh, and I said, what's that? <laughs> He's all you have to do is, um, so I'm saying to all of you right now, with a little bit of necessary emphasis, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. about the award, I am very grateful for it. But why don't we just say for now that I'm merely the custodian, holding it for all those wonderful guys and gals who worked over the years to bring about this night for me. So, so I really mean this. I'm thanking you for them and for me. Art has had many definitions. The one I like best is, art is life plus. Life plus caprice, where the simple declarative sentence becomes a line of Shakespearean poetry, where a number of musical notes strung together become a Beethoven sonata, where a walk done in cadence by a Freddie Astaire or Edward Vallella or Patricia Farrell becomes an exciting dance. That's art. That definition is given in a chapter on art by William Ernest Hocking in a book called Strength of Men and Nations. And it's worth reading. I recommend it. Because of the way art affects our everyday lives. It, every time we walk out of the house in the morning, we are looking at architecture. We are looking at people doing things that are essentially themselves and what they're doing should be of great interest to everybody from an artistic point of view. Because if we are looking at it in that way, we are holding the wonder that we were born with. Now, after, uh, I have a great many thanks to spread about this evening. We all know an event like this doesn't get itself on. It is the result of a lot of dedicated people working at peak pitch for a great many days. So, Frankie, Frankie Sinatra, one of the neighbor's children. <laughs> Thanks for the song. How many copies it will sell? <laughs> And Ted Ashley, George Stevens, Sue Torog, Chuck Heston, Mr. Scott, Dear Doris Day, Bob Hope, Shirley McLean, Jack Lemon, Miss Tyson, Frank Gorshin, oh, Frankie, just in passing, I never said, mm, you dirty rat. <laughs> what I actually did say was, Judy, Judy, Judy. <laughs> and thank you, Mr. Segal, Big Duke Wayne, bless him, and Kirk Douglas. Oh, and one more thing, Frankie Gorshin, that uh, hitching of the trousers, I got that from a fellow who hung out on the corner of 78th Street and 1st Avenue. <laughs> I was about 12 years old, and he was most interesting to me, because that's all he did all day. <laughs> and when somebody would greet him, he didn't deign to say hello. He just stood back and did this. Uh, 
Now, now, let's face it, we are all indebted to that fella. <laughs> he, was a, he was a type, and we had them. Oh, how, how we did have them. Uh, I must express my gratitude to that wonderful group in the early days at Warner's, Joni Blondell, at the risk of a bit of repetition, I think you'll bear with me, Betty Davis, Odia de Havilland, Olivia de Havilland, and little May Clark, who got the citrus massage. Uh, May, I'm glad we did not use the omelet, which was called for in one of the earliest scripts. I'll bet you're glad, too. Well, anyway, that could have been a bit messy. And the other, other friends and co-workers of the, of the uh, early times, my old friend Frankie McHugh, Pat O'Brien, who isn't here tonight, but Eloise, bless her, and she's here with her son, Terry, and Ralph Bellamy, Alan Jenkins, George Tobias, Alan Hale, Billy Wellman, Lloyd Bacon, Bob Montgomery, Raoul Walsh, and the unforgettable Michael Curtis, <laughs> Howard Hawks, Bill Keeley, and Harvey Perry, a stuntman who hung a cauliflower on me at my ear in the first fight that I had in pictures. I remember him well. <laughs> and uh, Jack, J.L., Jack Warner, who gave me a name I shall always cherish, affectionately, mind you, the professional against her. <laughs> but we're old now and full of understanding, and that's all water over the dam. And my wife, Bill, my brother Bill, my sister Jean. <sniffs> Gotta hang on, boy. <laughs> and all the Cagneys who over the years all pulled their share of the burden through those long and troubled years. They were many. And the names, the names, the names of my youth. Loggerhead Quinlevin. Artie Klein. Pete Leiden, Jake Brodkin, Spex de Porcer, Brother O'Mara, Picky Houlihan, who were all part of a very stimulating early environment, which produced that unmistakable touch of the gutter without which this evening might never have happened at all. <laughs> I bless them, and I bless Paul Keyes and A.C. Lyles for their labors, and bless you.